Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rock River Valley Traction Company. Quick video for you here today, been working on the box motor. I've got a control panel built up here. This is for uh, allowing us to use the multi-point trolley uh, throttle controller with this VFD. So I've got this little panel built up right here. Basically it takes each of the eight points, uh, operates one of these relays, got a forward reverse here as well. Uh, and then I've got potentiometers for each notch. So basically, you know, to adjust notch one speed, I would turn this one, notch two, this one, notch three, this one, and so on. In eighth notch, it's wide open. So, uh, the reason why I did it this way, instead of just uh, using logic gates and things like I normally do, is this controller, the, and I know you can't see it on the video, but uh, it's been operating for many years, you know, the current of the motor that used to be on here, the old DC motor. So there was a lot of current going through that controller, and the tips are really pitted and uh, I was concerned about the reliability of such a low voltage signal on this uh, control system. So I'm using a uh, just a 24 volt unregulated power supply here to feed that controller and then that picks up these relay coils. And the relays are of course, you know, they've got covers on them so that dust and whatnot can't get in there. Uh, that should keep everything good and reliable, at least I hope so. So eventually all this stuff is going to get mounted in an enclosure under the car, but right now we're just kind of in test mode. So, see how it works here. I've uh, been tweaking on the, on the uh, resistors for each speed, and, and here's what I've got. So, this is notch one. Quite slow. There's two, a little faster. Might want to turn that one up a little bit. There's three. And four. There's five. Six. Yeah, so, so far I'm pretty happy with how that works. Also, we've got uh, this right here is our reverse control. So that, for the first time, is working. Now we back up. Uh, with the old motor, uh, the reverser control was this uh, knife switch here. So that's coming out. Now we can actually use that. Let's see what our acceleration looks like from a dead stop all the way up. And so far I'm pretty happy with this. A little more tweaking. Of course we've got a lot of stuff we got to mount here, but uh, that'll be in a further update. Thanks for watching. See you next time.